My name is Kim Martindale. I'm the producer partner of the Los Angeles Art Show. We're here in Los Angeles at LA Convention Center for the 24th edition of the LA Art Show. The show started with 12 galleries, 250 attendees. This year we're at 128 galleries, 18 countries represented, and 200,000 square feet of space. So it's really growing a lot and we're really excited for the diversity and the comprehensiveness of the LA Art Show. I think that's really what makes it a special show in the whole world is the comprehensive nature of the LA Art Show with from roots material, which is more historic material, to core, to project spaces, and then to Diverse Art LA, which is bringing in museums and nonprofits from this year, especially Argentina, and MOLA just down the way from here, from LACMA, one of the major institutions working with MOCA. So lots of exciting projects and another great highlight of Diverse Art LA this year are the collectors that come from here in Los Angeles, Bob Holmes Collection, and the owner of Arte Limite, they shared some of their great pieces that Marisa Cacciola curated and brought up from Chile what is a major collection of work from South America. So we're very excited about all the diversity, the wide range of galleries, and the comprehensive nature of the art. At this point, LA is considered one of the most important cities in the world for art. And a lot of great artists have lived here and are moving here. A lot of great galleries are starting to come here. We have new museums opening all the time, which is very exciting. We have additional shows coming to Los Angeles. And I think that Los Angeles is a very collective community of cultures from all over. We have the second largest community of Korean people living here in Los Angeles outside of Seoul. So we have a large group of Korean galleries that come and participate. We have Japanese galleries. We never will turn our back on Europe because there are great art traditions in Europe. But really this show, my focus is more on the Pacific Rim. And so really Latin America and Asia. So a lot of our special programming are from those areas. We have two types of exhibitions at the show. One is featured programming, when a gallery takes something outside of their booth and they focus on one artist or a concept. And we give them a space and they put together, like Mari Kim from Korea, she's doing a performance and a certain body of artwork which was created just for the LA Art Show. Or we have an ink painting exhibit out of the eight galleries that came. We have a couple ink painting exhibits, one from South Korea with Chuni Park who I've met a few times and really appreciate what work he's doing. And Michael Goodhouse out of London has um, come to the fair and is doing a presentation of what he considers the 10 top ink painters in, out of China. So there's that kind of featured programming. And then we have diverse art that I had spoke to earlier. And that work is from museums or nonprofits. And that space we give and to create an experience at the show that one can only have at the show at this moment in time. So that show then has performance in it, like Dorian Woods did a performance, Sarah Trausch from France did a performance. We have CCK from Buenos Aires, Argentina, which is their main institution for art. They brought their number one artist that does Venice Biennale, really represents Argentina around the world, Marta Minahin, a special video and a special installation from her. They brought one of their rising stars, Andres Paredes, that we have a special exhibit of. We also have LACMA for the first time doing VR, virtual reality, augmented virtual reality, um, which is the first time we've had that at this show and the first time I've kind of seen it at most fairs I've been to around the world. And that's kind of an exciting for me, and I think for many people, even though artists have been doing it for a while, but for the mass public, it's one of the first times to really put out this experience that an artist is doing artwork 
that you go into and you're part of the artwork. Like think, I think that we all want to be part of the artwork and that's even in ink painting, you go back to Sung Dynasty and Ming Dynasty work and part of that with the mountain scenes that you see in those traditional ink painting. When you talk about that with art historians and that, they say, you know, many of those were a contemplative mode that people would get into and they would feel like they're walking through the mountains in that ink painting. So, but now you can actually go into that space that that artist is creating. So that's really a new thing that the LA Art Show is bringing to the fore and that exhibits also at LACMA. So we're sharing, you know, bringing people over to LACMA, come to the show, go to LACMA. My feeling about art fairs and where we are in society right now is that people want to have experience and I think that art should be experienced in person. I think that if you know about an artist, you can look online and get a feel for that piece if you already know that artist. But really to find new artwork and really have an experience, I think that that can only be done at an art fair. And an art fair is something that brings the world into focus, into one place at one point in time. That's the great thing about art fairs, wherever they happen, that they're events. And they're something that you can come and share your passion with other people. And most of the gallery owners really do have a passion for the art that they're, they're selling or they're presenting at an art fair. Museums that come and be a part of an art fair or whatever group is bringing art to an art fair knows about that art. It's just a, a wonderful opportunity to learn and interact with people that also have that feeling.